In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a link in your iOS app to open up Safari to whatever website you want. And I'm gonna show you a couple different variations on it since it's pretty quick. Here I am in my starter project. Can't really call it a starter project because it's literally just file new. I did nothing. <laughs> uh, so let's take this default text here uh, and start typing link, right? And get us the initializer. You can see there's a couple different initializers, right? Uh, title key with a localized string and destination, right? The destination is the key part of the URL here, right? So we'll do that in this string. I'll just say my website and then the destination URL. We can do URL uh, with the initializer and we'll do from string. That way we can just pass in a string. Uh, and then I'll do the string of HTTPS slash slash SeanAllen.co, my website, right? And then for the sake of time, uh, we'll for force unwrap that because the URL isn't optional. Uh, I know this is a valid website because it is mine. Uh, but if you were like pulling, uh, you know, a website down from a network or something like that, uh, you would definitely want to handle that gracefully. So now if we run this in the simulator, you see I have the my website words right there. And, and doing it this way, you're always going to get just the typical blue link looking thing. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe that's not what you want. And we'll talk about that in a second. But let me click on my website. And there you go. It opens up Safari, goes to seanallen.co. Uh, there you go. So that's the basic, basic link here. Let's talk about two other quick versions. So we'll stop the simulator and I will comment this out and we'll start typing uh, link again, except we'll do destination and label because label is the key aspect here, right? So the destination, it gives us the autocomplete of apple.com. We'll just keep that because I'm lazy and don't want to type out my website again. Now here's the deal with label uh, that says link here, this is where we can style it however we want. Like instead of just that plain blue text, maybe we want an actual, you know, button looking thing. So I'm going to say, go to Apple and you know, we can start stylizing this, right? Just like a button. We say dot bold uh, for the text, dot frame. I'm going to give it a uh, 280 by 50 frame, just a big, big button that you're about to see. Uh, we can do dot foreground color, dot white. It's gonna disappear in a second. Well, if my preview can catch up. <laughs> then dot background, uh, we'll give it a color, dot black. Kind of like the typical app store type looking button. I don't know whatever, uh, corner radius, you get the idea, right? We can style it however we like, so there you go. So now when I run this in the simulator, we now have a go to Apple button that uh, will take us to Apple when we tap on it, right? That's how you create a link uh, in your app. Now the last little example is what you'd commonly see for like privacy policy, terms of service, right? Maybe you see that on like a setting screen. So what I'm gonna do real quick, let's throw up a, a V stack just for, for looks here. Let's get this link in there. And then here, I'm going to put this in a form because again, we're talking about like a typical setting screen type thing. And what I'm going to do is just out of laziness, right? We're just going to cut and paste what I've already typed here. And I'm actually going to paste it uh, twice. So what I'm doing here is I just move the link down here into a form. Uh, let me resume. And you're going to see, right? My website, my website. Let's do something that you would actually see, you know, privacy policy, right? Whatever the title is. Of course, you point this to your actual privacy policy on the internet, not my website. Um, and then, you know, terms of service. Uh, but you can see over here on the right in the simulator, of course, we just have that go to Apple button at the top. But, you know, you can imagine a, a setting screen or an about screen that has, a, you know, the typical form. And you can, you know, look to the privacy policy in the terms of service. Again, for right now, it's going to seanallen.co. You send it to your actual privacy policy. But that's just a couple ways to use Link real quick. Pretty simple. It's brand new in iOS 14. So this just came out not too long ago. If you enjoy my teaching presentation style, I started creating my own courses at the website here. You can check out the first 10% or so for free to get a feel for it. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next one.